Well, in those immortal words, Tim, where are we today? We are in Ojal de Aqua. Well done. <laughs> and we have actually just taken the bus here. We caught the number six bus here. It's our private, <laughs> private taxi service. It's wonderful, isn't it? So we got our senior bus pass and yep. brought us right here. So we've been rethinking the whole snowbird thing and we've got some ideas for you because we've been coming to Portugal for five years. Yes. And basically, um, our views have changed along the way and we wanted to share those with you. But in the meantime, this is Ojao de Agua, a um, beautiful little place, uh, outskirts of Albufeira and next door to Falesia Beach. And we're up on the top of the mountain. We are, and there's quite a lot of changes here, Norm. They've built like a wonderful, um, I'm going to say like a lookout here, all sort of a wooden lookout. So you can see quite a lot of the coastline, which is quite wonderful. They've made this cliff top with, yeah. uh, far more accessible than it used to be when mm -hmm. we used to have to <laughs> scramble up here yeah. on, a, on a track. <laughs> yeah, we had to be quite adventurous then. So anyway, uh, our views on snowbirding are changing and we want to share those with you. So we have had a few visits here to the Algarve and our trips have varied from three weeks to a month and this is actually our longest trip of 76 days. But we are beginning to think, Norm, that it's maybe a little too long, isn't it? I think what we're really finding is that Two and a half months away from home in the winter time, while it's wonderful because we have the weather, it really is very disruptive on family life and the fact that we have children and that we miss them yeah. while we're here. So we, and the other thing is that we get 31 days of travel insurance with our credit card and then we have to buy a top-up if we're going to go beyond 31 days. So we're somewhere around 70... So I think this one is 76 days, this trip. And we've paid over $600 for the month and a half. For the top-up insurance. And we don't think it's worth it. No. So looking at all this, we're coming up with another strategy, team. And that is, we're looking for next year to come back to the Algarve for just... 31 days and that will be our whole trip and we're going to do uh, snowboarding in chunks of 30 days yeah. 31 days um, so we're going to come back to the Algarve yeah. as Tina says for 31 days and then we're going to have an additional trip somewhere else but in the meantime we're going to go back home for two to three weeks where we can reconnect with our family and friends. As, as Norm said, we have children and we have grandchildren and we do miss them. And it's an important part for you to consider when you're looking at your snowbird winter life. The other point that we found is accommodation prices in the Algarve. Um, when we first came here, we could get a one bedroom Airbnb for $900 yeah. in a modern building pretty upscale. Um, that became uh, overpriced when the owners decided on a different policy. Mm -hmm. So now we did adopt the apart hotel and the very first apart hotel that we got was... Around 1,200 12, euros. Now admitted we know that that was at the beginning of 2020 before Covid but we thought at 1,200 euros that was a good deal. And now um, we're here after COVID, the, our first visit, uh, it's been what, four years. Yeah. And now we're seeing, we're paying 1,700 euros a month for an apart hotel. While it's still good value, we, we are slightly critical of the apart hotels now. Um, yeah, we're finding that maybe things are getting a little old and a little dated. Um, the first place we were in, we couldn't use the fire stick. The second place we are now in, yes, we can use the fire stick. But the whole general sort of decoration and 
seating and things like that. Well, it's going back to the future, team. It's uh, Michael <laughs> J. Fox. We're going back to the 90s. And I think the lack of utensils. And we've now worked out that you really can't live in these mini kitchens as if you are at home. We just don't have the stuff. We don't have the cooking spices. We don't have everything there. So what we've seen is yeah. the, the accommodation has got to a tipping point with mm. Airbnb. Airbnb rates aren't going up as quickly as hotels are. So what we're finding is that Airbnb is coming back into play. Yeah. Their fees are dropping. And if you go into local real estate agents in the Algarve, you may well score a deal that isn't advertised on all the big websites. So that's something that we are going to consider for next year. So we really have tried to live like we're at home yes. when we're doing this snowbirding in January and February and March um, in the Algarve. And it's taken us a wee while to realize we can't do that. Firstly, you don't have all the stuff, do we? No. Like the oils, the herbs, spices, cooking implements. We were, we were thinking about grating some cheese, but we don't have a grater. Yeah. Uh, and, and stuff like that. So the other thing is we have tried to do that over the years. And all that ends up happening is that you produce a lot of food waste at the end of the trip where you have to just dump everything mm -hmm. um, because you don't use it all. When you're at home, you buy a pantry item, might last you, you know, a bottle of oil might last you six months. Whereas here, you won't use it up in time. No, then you've got to throw it, haven't you? That's right. So one of our theories, Teen, is to maybe cost contain our food and go against the grain and eat out more yeah and that is kind of what we've just started to do quite a bit more on this trip particularly in our second month is starting to we still cook breakfast but we are looking more at having lunches and dinners out to contain costs. Very much so. And it allows us to enjoy some more Portuguese food mm -hmm. and also discover new cuisine as well. We just had smoked salmon sandwiches <gasps> with cream cheese. Um, and they were they were one euro seventy for a roll. And wow half liter of beer for two euros and i got a glass a really good pour glass of wine for two euros and it was just awesome but more was that we actually enjoyed what we were eating and being out together in a new location i think so just you know, it's nice to try and live uh, in the snowbird style as if you're at home but we've really found it's impossible, especially when you're flying. You, you just can't bring the stuff with you. So what's the plan, Tine? So our plan is we are coming back to the Algarve for a 31-day trip next winter. Right. And then we are going to go home for like two to three weeks. And then we are going to look at new options, aren't we, Norm? We are. So we're going to Airbnb next time yeah. in the Algarve. And... Uh, then after the three weeks back at home, we're going to rush off and maybe go to Panama or uh, Dominican Republic. So what's the plan, Tane, for the future? So we are going to be coming back to the Algarve next winter for a 31-day trip. And we are seriously looking at doing an Airbnb instead of an apart hotel next year. And we going to divide up the whole snowbird thing into 31 day or 30 day yeah. increments and come home for three weeks in between times take care of business catch up with our friends yeah see, see family our, see our family and our grandchildren yeah and then head out again and possibly look at panama look at um things like a cruise maybe yeah. We had a really good trip in the into Florida, and the Florida was uh, we had some accommodation. Then we went on a cruise. We did. 
which was just a lot of fun. So as you can see from what we're doing, your plans can change and that's perfectly okay because it's a learning experience for us all. And our plans are changing yeah. through experience, yeah. personal experience. So here we are, Albufeira, it's February, it's 21 degrees today, and sunny. Yeah, and we are just having a great time. So we hope everybody is keeping well. And staying safe. And until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.